everybody, welcome to another episode of Widgets and Wonders. I'm Ash, and this is my monthly show, wait, weekly show, wait, whenever I do them show, um, about great products from small companies. So um, what I do here is I try and focus and highlight on independent producers, people who are making something, be it scenery, tokens, miniatures, or entire game systems. Um, and the, the idea is that um, I can give sort of more attention to or a spotlight on something that might not be noticed, something that people haven't seen before. Um, today, we're at coming back again to a company called Homebrewed Worlds. This is um, Benjamin Galbraith's uh, great little company of doing custom scenery. Now, he's done a new set of custom scenery, and this is kind of a complete 180 from what you've seen from him before. Uh, he's been crazy busy uh, making Frostgrave and Mordheim scenery that people have been asking him to make after they saw the Mordheim scenery he did for my channel. Um, and then, basically, he just told everybody, once they started being interested in Frostgrave, well, I could just put snow on it's Frostgrave scenery too, so he's got a whole collection of both um, that he's doing for people. And now he's got a new collection that he's done basically by, I sent him a sketch. Like I literally just like, I made a bunch of sketches in my notebook and I sent it to him and he came back like a day later with like, here's what it looks like, here's exactly what you drew, except I've managed to make it make sense and make a bunch of scenery. Um, and you're gonna take a look at it right now. So this is Spaceship Terrain, so Spaceship Quarters and Terrain um, for a new mat from the Frontline Gaming, um, like Spaceship Mat uh, by Homebrewed Worlds. Let's have a look. So here is the spaceship terrain laid out um, on the frontline gaming mat. So now the idea here is if you have some kind of a tech plating, techy looking mat, what you're trying to do with this terrain is make dead space that you can rearrange so that the game is literally different every single time you play it. So a little bit like the Zone Mortalis idea from um, uh, Forge World, except it's even more flexible because you're not just putting down two by two tiles and rearranging them. You can have any shape you want with some fairly consistent sized blocks. So these blocks of terrain, if you look here, they're 12 inches by um, two inches, which is what the maps sort of like gridded out to. I think some of them are slightly more like bigger than two inches, but it doesn't really matter. As long as it lines up basically to a standard size, you can fill up the table with it. Um, and you can see they've been done fairly nondescriptly as the ruined interior of a spaceship. Now there's some uh, Herstarts molding stuff, some doors and bits and pieces he's decorated with, but for most part it's made from card um, and then airbrushed and painted afterwards. So it's a fairly simple design, but it looks really sharp on the table and we've played a couple games on it so far. Um, it basically allows you to make any shape you want on this mat. Now, I like it. What he's done is he's made it generic enough we can use it for infinity. So we can play with my um, infinity miniatures and have it look like kind of a ruined, derelict nomad spaceship. Maybe it's an old space station. Maybe it's even an underground complex somewhere or an Ariadne or something like that. Um, or it will definitely work for what it's probably gonna primarily get used for in the next little while, which is my Blood in the Void campaign for Horse Heresy for 30K. Um, and you can see here some Blood in the Void uh, painted Alpha Legion already on the table, ready to rock and roll. So. Um, this was the idea. Um, obviously, Ben can make this for you if you are interested in having it done. Uh, and yeah, and, and it's doing a great job. I'm super excited about it. Um, and we're playing on basically four feet of the six foot map. But if you got a bigger set than this, you could very easily fill up like the entire table. This is the idea was this would, when laid out, fill up about a third of the board and then spread out, gives you a nice amount of scatter walls and corridors and rooms and stuff to play a underground complex or spaceship mat or what have you. So you have it, another great project and style of pattern um, from Homebrewed Worlds, uh, Starship or Underground Complex Interior Terrain. Now it's worth noting that the scatter terrain that was in there, these old AT43 barriers, of course the GW barrels um, and those micro studio crates are just additional scatter that I threw down. I was playing a game on it earlier today and I left it set up because it looked really nice. It's just the wall sections, door sections and corridors um, sort of like marking off that Ben's making here. The other stuff's all mine from my collection that's been put down to make the, um, the table look alive basically along with the models too obviously you don't get the models but sometimes i feel like there needs to be a caveat for that <laughs> so if you want to get in touch with ben um, just click the link below um, you can go to his facebook page and message him through there or you can email him um, i believe it's ben at homebrewed worlds uh, no homebrewed worlds at gmail.com um, but i'll have all that in the video description just click below and you can shoot him a message and um, talk about getting some work done uh, now if you know of a great small company or product that's not getting enough attention you can have them either email me at girl miniature games at gmail.com message me through my facebook page which is facebook.com slash out of the basement of the streets or you can drop me a note yourself and i'll try and get in touch thanks again for watching we'll see you for more widgets and wonders in the future until then i'm ash Happy